uh, to the Muslim world. Uh, today we have uh, the weekly trivia, and uh, I want to start with the same thing we are following up on Surat Al-Kahf. Uh, the first question is, what is the surah before Surat Al-Kahf? Huh? I, I have two. One is Isra, one Banu Israel. Which one is right? Huh? That's true. So there is two names to the surah, which is Bani Israel or Al Isra. Okay, what's the surah after Surat Al Kahf? Surat Maryam. So there is a word in the middle of Surat Al Kahf, and, and most time you find it in a bold. What's that word? Why it's in bold? That's in the middle of the Quran, right? Exactly. Yeah. So, Surat Al Kahf is known as the Surah of the Changes. And we already said four stories in this Surah. They are kind of lesson to the Prophet Muhammad revealed in order to say that there are ways of doing da'wah. So, the first is the, the seven youth, they isolated themselves in the Kahf because they cannot change the society. It's against them. The second change is the Muslim who is poor and his brother is kafir but he's rich. But he found out that at least I have to do the minimum, which is I have to give advice to my brother and tell him that don't be uh, arrogant and you have to say mashallah instead of you say that these gardens are from, from me and from my work. So at least he's doing some kind of da'wah of changing the, the people around him by giving advice. The third, which is a chronological way, which is uh, sort uh, Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam with uh, Al-Khidr. So Al-Khidr, he was changing the the mind of Sayyidina Musa through three ways. One, when he, uh, he killed the boy, right? But before they killed the boy, what he did? What is the first thing he did, Al-Khidr? Elias. True, he put a hole in the chip. So this putting a hole in the chip is, Sayyidina Musa himself, he was amazed. What's wrong with this guy? Why is he doing wrong things, right? So it, sometimes it perceives to you in the world or in, in your daily experience with your kids or with your coworkers or whatever, that they are doing something wrong. But this, it teaches us, don't jump to the conclusion. Don't jump to the conclusion and say, why you are doing that? Try to figure out, try to trace, try to figure out what is uh, the wisdom behind. Then the second, what he did, Elias, Muhammad, Ahmed. Before he built the ball, what he did? He did huge wrong things. He killed the boy. Same thing. There is a wisdom behind that. Yes, Muhammad. That's true. So, there's a huge wisdom behind that, but it's still wrong as perceived by Sayyidina Musa. It's not by me or you, by a prophet. It's perceived by a prophet that this is wrong. And then the last thing he did, what he did? Elias? So he built the wall for the two orphans. So it's the same thing. It's upside down. They ask for the food from the city, and the people of the city, they tell them, doesn't matter. We know that you are hungry. We are, we are not going to give you food. But they didn't give them food, but he compensated them by building the wall. Some the perceived one, when somebody do wrong for you in our culture or whatever, at least to show your manhood that you have to do wrong for him too. But if you are high level manners, 
even he wrong you, you have to do good. Right? That's exactly what uh, Sayyidina al-Khidr did. He built the wall, but there is a reason behind that, is to save the treasure for the orphan kids. This is chronology. So from isolating yourself from society to giving advice to at least the people around to go and fix problems here and here. And the, the fourth one is that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you an authority, you change from above, from the authority. You are a governor or you are a president or you are police chief or you are a director or you are a manager or whatever. At least you have some uh, authority so you can change. You can apply the change, the positive change from your position. And that was given to, what's the name of the one who did the change from the authority side in Surat al kahf Dhul Qarnayn. Did the, what happened? Did they ask him to help? So the people who asked him to help, to help them for what? Elias. Now why they after why they asked Dur Karnain to help them? For what? Come here, come here, I know here it. For yeah, George and my George. So so Zakalah, you did good job. So they were threatened by Yajuj and uh, Yajuj and Majuj, and they want somebody to help them at the level of the authority. So they asked Dul Qarnayn, you, you seem, you look to us that you are strong. Can you help us? But what happened when you are under authority, this is a leadership skills. Some people, when they got the authority, they don't need help from the people. They apply whatever in their mind. So Dur Qarnayn, he didn't do that. He, he asked them, help me. Help me, a'inuni. A'inuni, it means that you, you engage your people in the, in the matter, in the help. So he, he told them, a'inuni, biquwa. Not only a'inuni, also help me with the strength. And then what happened? What happened, Elias? Did they help him? Okay, they even offer money to him. They tell him, okay, help us to get rid of Yajuj and Majuj and we are going to pay you. But he said, no pay. I'm doing this piece of there. So, and the surah end with, with, started with uh, the shirk and end with the shirk, right? Kind of a warning to us as a Muslim to not fall in the, sh in the shirk, right? So uh, that's why some of the uh, tafasir also they named the, the surah of the tawheed also. So jazakum Allah khair, barakallahu fikum, subhanakallahu wa bihamdik, shandullah ila ala ant, astaghfirullah wa tawbu Ahmed, Ilyas, Muhammad, you did very good job. See me in the office, I will give you some gift, inshallah. Ah, sorry, sorry for you. The kids, they took over.